So welcome to my first Let's Make video. This is going to be the start of a series that I intend to do where I just go into the editor and make a bunch of different mechs. Today we're going to be making Eve from Wally. -E. In future videos I might make Bender, I might make more portal characters, I can make a Pacific Rim robot, things like that. So if you would want to see more videos like this, uh, you can subscribe and it'll probably notify you. You can also like the video because that'll let me know if people actually want this kind of content. Okay, so why am I moving this part around all over the place? And the answer to that is because I am checking for how much I can move this part around. And that's because Eve is a pretty small character. Like, I'm going to have to cram these parts together to get the, the arms to animate, the head to animate, all that. So I'm just making sure that whatever I'm trying to place here is actually going to work out. And you'll see later on that it, for the most part, does, but I do have to do some tricks to do proper scaling or move things around. So now I'm deciding what material I want to make Eve out of, and I decide that titanium's probably going to be the best bet, and that's because it's already white, and um, Eve is also white. However, Eve isn't as reflective as the titanium makes it out to be, but it's no big deal to change the material later on, so I just go with titanium. So now I'm making Eve's body, and it's basically this spherical conic shape that's cut flat at the top, and the way I accomplish that is through z-bending and fan shaping. I just take um, fan shaping and I spin it 360 degrees, and then I use z-bending to make the side profile, and what I mean by that is like if I were to take that graph and just put it right up against the part, it would make a perfect outline of the part, well at least half of it, because the other half has been fan shaped so it looks like it's been mirrored. But um, I'm trying to make this like little arc on the graph because that's the way um, Eve's body is shaped. And I'm getting rid of like the roughness here by using the second option on the point for uh, the Z, Z bending points, it's that weird half circle as opposed to the, on the left being the, the, the triangle and the weird midpoint dot on the right. And basically that just smooths the, the part out or the, um, the intersections between all the blocks and voxels so that it looks like one continuous part. Because if I was to try to use um, the one on the left, you would see all these lines like rings going across the part and you don't really want that. So now what I'm doing is I am creating the part for Eve's arm and I'm manually um, shaping this into what it roughly looks like, but I'm going to heavily curve this later on. And I've got a part here that's kind of long, kind of wide, and it's like three blocks thick and it's going to be enough to do some detailing here. And unfortunately, with the way this is going to work, it's going to make the inside of Eve's arm look pretty strange. But it's the only way to get Eve's arm to look roughly the right shape. So here you'll see in a moment when I start curving that um, I, I have some troubles getting it to look quite right. And I spend a lot of time doing it. Later on, I will also make changes to the part, but they're very minor. Okay, so now we're getting into the curving trickery used to make Eve's arm look like it does in the image here. So... What I'm going to need to do is it's going to need to be curved um, into like Eve's body. It's also going to need to curve around Eve's body. And then I'm going to have to use squeezing to get the arm to um, look flat at the top and bottom. So that just means I can't use fan shaping and I have to be pretty precise with my curving here. So what you can see right now is me using um, curving or sorry, squeezing, X squeezing to try to get the part to look the um, correct um, width at the top and bottom so that it kind of flattens off at the top and bottom. And I actually do try to change the parts around a little bit because for some reason the X squeeze doesn't want to squeeze the very bottom. So what I end up doing is I just make um, the part completely different here and I change it into this sh general shape right here that just looks like it tapers off on its own. And that ends up working for me. So then I um, also do that to the top Okay, so roughly I have um, the shape of Eve's arm now. I just do a couple touch-ups with um, the parts and the squeezing to get it to look roughly the same um, profile as what I'm looking at in my reference. So now I'm trying to do X-bending 
and this is um, what's going to let the arm wrap around the used body and I rotated it into place here but then I realized that the middle is all screwed up and the reason this happens is because my X bending profile is this V shape when it should actually be kind of an arc and I, I later realized this but not before I try to make um different copies of this part to figure out what's going on so it's kind of a learning process for me too as I figure this out but eventually I realized that yeah I should probably have that um, arc on the X bending graph after I mess with Z bending here and from this point on the uh, part does look like use arm and basically the last thing I do with this arm is I just put some um, blocks back in to um, get rid of some of those lines and creases that are on the uh, inside of Eve's arm. And those don't really go away, unfortunately. I actually have no clue how to do that better. So I just decided, yeah, good enough for Eve's arms. All right, so I'd say the second hardest part about Eve here was the head. Um, nowhere near as busted as the arms were, in my opinion, but it was still kind of a challenge. So here I am trying to basically do what I did with the body. Um, Eve has like this flat cut off at the bottom of her head, but it becomes um, more spherical at the top. So I am just going ahead and doing exactly that here. And I'm trying to get it into like the correct position so I don't have to, you know, screw around with it later on. And I also try to scale it to what it should be shaped because Eve's body isn't perfectly uh, circular. It's kind of actually like elliptical. So I try to do that with the head early on and then I just kind of forget about it. And here I am shaping it into that um, spherical shape. Uh, I'm using Z-bending and fan shaping, the same trick I use for the body. And I'm again using that Z-bending line as like the profile for the head. Like if I were to take that line and just put it right up against Eve's head, it, it's gonna look like an outline of the part. So in this segment here, I'm trying to make the um, black part of Eve's helmet, like where her eyes are at. Uh, and um, I'm kind of met with very limited success here early on. I don't really know how to do this. So I try um, cutting a hole in Eve's helmet and then making this separate part that's just going to go over it. And first off, um, it's not big enough. And I also don't know what material to use, though I do eventually settle on magnets. But yeah, as I try to shape this into its spot, I just like can't figure it out. So eventually I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go test out if the animations work properly in like just fly the fly the robot around and you know it does work out pretty well so I'd say that was successful so um, I get back to work straight away after that. <laughs> so after being thoroughly confused on how to make this uh, face part for Eve, I finally figure it out and I just decide I'm going to use Z squeeze to get it into roughly the right shape. And then I'm going to fill in um, Eve's like hole in her head. And then I'm also going to use X and Z bending to actually, you know, get it to take the shape of Eve's head, like approximately. And I don't get it exact because I, I really don't know how to get it exact. I'm not a goddamn calculator, all right. So here I am messing with the X bending in order to uh, curve the side of the um, face part here into the uh, head mesh and basically hide all the the bad stuff that's going on on the inside there and then um, i'm also doing z bending in order to uh, get it to uh, curve up and down and i also try to z bend the bottom like a lot so it makes that flat uh kind of look on the bottom of eve's uh, face because that's what her her face looks like it's kind of uh, more curved at the top but flat in the bottom just like her head and um, I do actually manage to pull this off somewhat, so it works out. So after being thoroughly confused by that black part on the head, I am celebrating because I finally figured it out and I'm moving on to the eye part now. And at first I realized that the eye part doesn't make it to the helmet and I try to move everything back to solve that, but later on I realized I can use uh, Z squeezing to scale that forward a bit. And then also here I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get the joyous expression on Eve's face and I think X bending was the way to go but then I later realized that it was not the way to go. I'm going to be using um, electromagnetic like half blocks to get that kind of um, display monitor look on her helmet and then here I'm fan shaping 
and then removing the X bending to uh, get the uh, eyes to look like they're flush with the helmet. And then I'm going to use, I, I believe, X bending to uh, control the scaling of the eyes because the fan shaping really stretches them out. And then here I'm just kind of carving the look on the eyes, which is like these two half circles basically. And it gives her that joyous expression. And then the very last thing I do is I, I try flipping it around and that doesn't work because it removes the glow. But then once I change that back, I basically lower her head because she's kind of looking up, but we want her to look down to um, get that glow on her eyes to be more visible. So at this point, uh, the whole thing's done actually, and I decide to save it, um, try to change the materials a little bit to get it to become less shiny, and I don't quite succeed with that. But then um, I decide to take it out for a test fly. So now I'm just testing Eve out. I'm looking at her animations. I'm looking at like how she looks when she's finished here. And the eyes actually turned out pretty well in my opinion. Um, I'm just taking some screenshots right here. The jetpack's a little funny, but uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really know how to implement a jetpack on Eve without it looking ridiculous. So I just kind of, you know, let magic do it for me. But yeah, that is how you make Eve from Wally -E in Dyson Sphere program. I hope that by going through my building process that I may have helped your uh, mecha designs or part designing skills in general. I hope you picked up a few tricks. Uh, if you're still watching, like honestly, thank you for staying here until the very end. Uh, if you like the video, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like. Um, consider subscribing as well if you want to receive more of these videos. I, I already said this at the start of the video. I don't need to repeat myself. Of course, I'll leave the blueprint to Eve in the description, or I'll put it on the pinned comment. You know, just look for both. There will definitely be a blueprint, though, for your own use, so look forward to that. And I'll see you in the next Let's Make video.